Well, there's one chimney that's been a little bit of a, a tricky approach. I tried to get to it off the roof, and when I put a ladder up against it from the roof, there are loose bricks at the top, and I can't carry buckets of mortar and spare bricks up a ladder um, and have somewhere for them to sit while I work on the chimney. So the only real option here is to try the boom lift. It should be okay. Um, it hydraulically locks out so it won't roll back down the hill. It's level sideways. I'm just not sure that I can miss the gutter from that close to the house. I like that it's nice and level or fairly level. The trouble is, is I have to shoot from the pivot point which is that big pin there at the top over the gutter and get close enough to the chimney. So, looks like it might work, but I'm not sure. Straight line between here and the chimney will put me right at the edge of the chimney. And I may have to move the lift further away. But let's see what happens. I think this is gonna work. It's a little spooky. I don't like being on the third extension, so I'm about, I don't know, uh, 50 feet from the, the base, and I could do it right here. I'd have to lean out of the bucket, climb out of the bucket, that kind of thing to get to the far end, uh, but I would be okay with that, plus I think I could turn a little further sideways. I can actually come closer to the house as well that would reduce this angle. So I think I'm going to do that on my second run. So today was really about proving that it could be done. And uh, I think I proved that it can be done. So uh, I don't need to do much today at all. In fact, to be honest, I'm done for today. It does seem to be drooping a little, but then again, that's me shifting my weight as well and the wind has picked up. But this is, this is workable. I'm happy with this, this will do. And I'll start fixing the chimney another day. Tomorrow, probably. So round two, I think, is better still. So this will most likely feel very good. So both wheels are on concrete at the front, which is where the weight's overhanging. And then I've managed to square the rear wheels up quite a bit, bringing it into the house by a couple of feet. So side to side, it is now horizontal. And front to back, it only has about a five degree pitch. Maybe not even five, only three, three to four degrees. So I think on the final run, I'm gonna get some more two by 12 and uh, chock up that rear inside wheel a little bit more to get it even more level but as long as I can make it to the chimney being two feet closer to the house now uh, I think this is good I much prefer this tell you what this is going to be a pleasure I'm not overhanging the bucket I can get to all four corners from sitting I should say standing right here which is nice. Plus the entire bucket is over this corner of the roof. No, I'm not planning for that contingency, but if anything was to give way and I was to fall vertically, I would be hung up on the roof and not overhanging the railroad tracks. So these are all thoughts that go into the planning. I'm six inches off the gutter, so I'm not destroying it with my bouncing around. I'll have to check that to make sure that it doesn't droop when I'm actually up here working because I'll be up here for an hour or two and sometimes things do droop a little but the wheels are on concrete at the front and are on concrete for one of them at the back and then two by twelves so I'm quite quite confident so this is gonna work I'll put it away now and and call this a successful uh, trial run Oh, I'm back in the same spot, so this was repeatable at least. I don't like the bounce, but 
I never like the bounce. Feels pretty safe, I'm in a good position. So now's the time to take off everything that's loose and fix it and then give it a couple of days to dry and then uh, get on with uh, putting the cap on. The issue, as you can plainly see, is a chasmus chimney that just goes straight down into the house. Every time it rains, it pours, right? So four feet by 16 inches and uh, it just goes straight into the house. Chimney gets soaking wet and gives up that moisture slowly. Back in the day, it didn't matter because fires were lit and the chimney would dry out. But nowadays, chimney, massive, massive bricks just uh, soaking wet in the middle of the chimney, middle of the house. Anyway, let's uh, get these bricks off and see what I'm dealing with. Well, that's done. I had to do uh, the top three courses on this side and the end, but only the top two on the outside and only the top one at this end. So I managed to match the bricks uh, pretty well. The mortar is pretty sandy, so it'll dry browner than it currently looks. But when I come up and put the cap on it, I will paint the chimney just like the others. So that'll be good. I think that's happy. I'm happy with that. It's a little wonky, but it was wonky before. Um, I have not done the middle fix there in the middle. That was a little too cementy, but at least it's solid now and it won't blow down. I gotta get up here and I gotta paint those step gables. I've gotta power wash the roof because it's a little splodged. But uh, this phase of course is now I would consider the chimney fixed.